Do you feel like as you're doing more emotional work, meditation and so on, that you might be feeling a little separated from some of your friends or a peer group or family? This is a common question and concern and I see it on a lot of other related channels as well. And so I want to address one or two parts of it in particular in this video. The first is of course it's common. It is a thing that can absolutely happen. And there's one thing I think you want to watch out for. This is when there is that sort of separation happening. Your interests are changing. Your values or perspectives might be changing to where you don't necessarily enjoy being around some of the same people, talking about some of the same things, doing some of the same things. So if you start to develop a value judgment, a superiority sense that, okay, I'm evolving, I'm doing all this good work, and these people are just sitting here doing whatever, be really careful of that. That is not going to help you on your own path forward. And I don't believe it's even accurate. On a certain, that may be a very unpopular opinion and perspective. My whole take on this might be unwelcomed, by the way, and I'd be curious to hear if so. But that perspective, it really doesn't help you. And I say it's not accurate, not in the sense that you might not legitimately be changing in what your interests and passions and who you click with and what you like to do and talk about. That may very well be changing, and you may very well be evolving. But the idea that that creates a sort of hierarchy that like I am now rising above them as human beings. I think we want to kind of watch out for that and maybe even let go of that as a premise when we're in the process of doing this sort of emotional and healing work because the idea as I see it is not about becoming better than other people. That's not a real thing. You might be developing healthier habits and you might not enjoy some of the same things, but that is just a shift in your interests and it is completely unnecessary to have the angle, the inner dialogue, which is always, in my opinion, coming from your own emotional world, possibly your own emotional wounds and your ways of dealing with the situation, which can absolutely be uncomfortable. It sort of soothes us a bit to say, yeah, you know, I'm just evolving beyond them and they don't get it. Especially if you are now finding yourself judging their behaviors, you have this sort of context like, well, I'm meditating and they're, they're gossiping. So, you know, they're down here and I'm up here and I need to stay away from them. My perspective on doing this type of emotional work is the whole point is that you can be more peaceful and calm and centered and even open around more and more people, around more and more types of people, around different energies. You can be around a judgmental person and not feel the need to go, ugh, I'm so repulsed by their judgment. I'm not judgmental, right? It's, <laughs> or I'm so repulsed by their gossiping. I'm not like that. It's still all about you. It's still about you and there's a lot of ego in that and trying to kind of separate yourself from the others and justify your positions, just to allow it, in my opinion, to be, okay, I'm changing, and I personally don't seem to be resonating, okay, so now what's next for me? Is there an awkward conversation? Usually it's not necessary. There's no need to sort of flex your, hey, I've evolved beyond you speech. <laughs> if you simply don't enjoy doing a lot of the same things, you can say, you know, I'm not available. And you might have a conversation like, you know, I'm getting really more into this kind of passion. I'm getting really into meditating. I'm getting really more into this type of introspective work. Um, it's become really important to me for the moment. So um, I find if I go to certain places or I hang out and do certain things, it's like distracting me from it. I'm just really into this right now. So, you know, it's not personal. This is just what I feel like I need to be doing. That is absolutely an angle you can take. Right? It's not necessarily about tiptoeing around things. It's just coming to the honest realization of whatever it is. If they really do disgust you now, I think there's some stuff to work through. Because the point is not to evolve ourselves to this pedestal where all the, you know, 
uh, civilians beneath us are just, we're not that special just because we're doing meditation and emotional work. A lot of us, like speaking for myself, I need to do it to be a functional person, right? To not be too stressed out and, and to not be so paralyzed with perfectionism and social anxiety. I needed to do all this tapping and all of this stuff. So the greatest gift for me, as I've been exploring more and more of this work, is is feeling so much of that judgment die down and finding myself being around more and more situations where I would normally be really judgmental of a, of a person or a situation because like they're being really loud or they're being very gossipy and talking about people and I can just simply not engage in that. I can simply, as best I can, just be at peace with myself where I am in that moment and if I'm part of that conversation, meaning I'm part of that peer group, I can just sort of be quiet. I don't have to get, if I'm getting agitated, I can just sit there quietly and do some emotional work. Why am I getting so agitated? They're talking about whatever they're talking about. I don't have to get involved energetically in it. I don't have to get involved emotionally in it. Shouldn't I be able, in theory, to be peaceful and centered as these two people are gossiping? And if we're close friends and there's close conversations to be had, okay. But we don't need to come at it from the angle that we are evolving beyond them. Because inevitably, your conversation or your tone or your vibe is going to be, oh, Evan thinks he's better than us now. I've been that guy. It sucks for everyone. No one likes it. You don't like it. <laughs> you might think it sounds fun, but, you know, I've been the, the quote-unquote smartest guy in the room. And it's a, it's a cringy thing. You don't necessarily always know you're doing it, but it is a can be a phase, can be a part of this process. So if you're finding yourself separating from friends, like I said, there's totally different elements of that that I'm happy to speak to. But I really wanted to talk about this one, this sort of superiority thing that can happen where I feel like I'm evolving above them. So I'd love to hear your take. Like I said, you might completely disagree with my, with my premise on this. I'd love to hear it. Let me know. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.